Jay here from Stretford Paddock. This is the Tier 1 Transfer Podcast. And today we're talking to Guido Schaefer, who's a leading football expert from Germany, someone who's covered RB Leipzig for quite some time and knows Ralph Ragnick very well. Guido, thanks for coming on the channel. Yes, uh, welcome. Thanks also. <laughs> So just give us a little bit about your background, because you're someone who, who's spoken to Ralph Ragnick and covered Ralph Ragnick for a little while now. Tell us a little bit about how you how you sort of got to know him and the, the role you've played. Oh, I know uh, Ralph Ragnick. Uh, since he uh, he came to, to Leipzig, to Abbey Leipzig, it was in 2012. And uh, he's, he's, for me, he's, he's a genius. He knows the, the, the business from all sides. He, he's a, a brilliant coach, a uh, manager. And I think he's also able to drive the, the bus from Manchester United. And uh, he's, the, he's the man uh, who, who brings the, 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 the victories to, to Abbey Leipzig. And uh, I spoke uh, with him after he, say, uh, he said uh, yes to, to Manchester United. And he said, this is a dream. A dream comes true. And uh, yes, lovely guy. Very good guy. And, uh, and he never drink alcohol. And he's so fit. I jogged with him. Twice or three times, he's so fit, 63 years, and uh, yes, he's a giant. Were you surprised at all when he was given the, the Manchester United job, or did you expect something like that to come along for him? Yes, yes, as well. it was also a surprise, but uh, I wonder why the, the English uh, uh, top teams, uh, why they, they um, don't, uh, didn't ask him uh, in former times uh, earlier, because for me, he's, he's, the, he's the best man in, in, in this, one of the best men in European, in this business. And he can, he can uh, create success. And uh, I think for, for Manchester United, he's also the, the right man. But there are many, many problems in, in this club. And uh, he needs time also, Ralph. He's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a big man on the pitch. But he needs time to, to, to coach, to train with, with, uh, with his squad. And I think this is one of the problems. In, in Manchester, they have no time uh, to to train. Perhaps he can now train because they they are not playing on the on the weekend. And this is uh, for Ralph. It's very important to have the contact with his squad, with his players, and to 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 coach them. There's already been sort of rumours or stories that maybe Ralph Ragnick could get the job permanently if he's a success as a caretaker manager. Do you think he'd want that role permanently? Do you think that's something that he'd be looking at? I think so. Yes, yes. Uh, if he if he reach the the champion uh, Champions League, uh, it's possible. Uh, but uh, it's it's a very very difficult job. It's so a big club, Manchester United, and uh, I don't know if uh, if it's. Uh, I think it, it is possible if he succeed, if he uh, come climb up in the uh, in the ranking and uh, reach the fourth place. Uh, it's possible, but uh, I don't know. Uh, what, what the bosses are, are thinking, Ralph is, for me, is one of the best managers worldwide. And uh, yes, it, it, may, it makes sense that he, he, he stay there in, in Manchester a, a, a few years, longer than until the summer. We know that he's been offered a consultancy role that he's going to have for two years once the, the, the managerial role is finished, if he doesn't get offered the permanent job. What do you think he'll bring to the consultancy role? How hands-on do you think he'll want it to be? Um, I heard that uh, in the moment it's it's not possible to buy some players in this transfer uh, in the winter transfer, uh, and this is for me it's uh, it's unbelievable because uh, he should uh, create a, a good team, a good uh, squad to reach the Champions League. And when he's not able to buy one or two good players, I, I think this makes no sense. Uh, I think uh, he has. For example, he has very, very good contact to to Erling Haaland and also to the father from from Erling Haaland. And uh, I think Manchester United very good chances to 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 buy this uh, this uh, super player. And um, I think also that uh, Ralph uh, make contact uh, to to the Haaland family and to Haaland himself. But uh, now in the winter transfer, I, do you you know more than me? But uh, I heard it's nothing, nothing possible, nothing happened to to buy player, and also not Amadou Haidara. You you, you would ask me, uh, you will ask me about Amadou Haidara. Uh, yes. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll get to Erling Haaland in a minute. But yeah, on the Amadou Haidara front, he he's been. You know, we've seen reports that Ralph Randnick is a fan and wants to bring him to Manchester United. Is he a player that you think, if we did sign him, could do a job at Manchester United? 
Uh, Amadou is, is, is a good player. It's, uh, for the Bundesliga, he's a good player, he's skillful and uh, is a good, good character also. But in my opinion, uh, I don't think that he's, he's good enough to, to, to bring uh, advantages, advantages to, to Manchester United. He's, in this moment, for me, is not a world-class player. Um, but uh, and and also RB Leipzig got uh, big uh, challenges now. They want to reach also the Champions League and they want to go through in the European League. And I think uh, they uh, won't sell him in the in the winter transfer. Definitely not. You mentioned there, Erling Haaland, and the, the the good relationship that Ralph Ragnick has with with Haaland and his, his his father. Do you think there's any chance that if if Manchester United were to to give Ralph Ragnick the funds, or to, to try and get Erling Haaland, he could he could convince him to come to Old Trafford. Yes, yes, I think so. Uh, uh, Ralph Ragnick has a very very good uh, name. He's he's a famous guy in in, uh, in Europe, and uh, he he had good contacts to to many many good players and uh, young players, and also to the to the managers, to the agents, and he he brings so much so many good players to to Leipzig. Upamecano and and uh, also uh, Konate and uh, Timo Werner and uh, I think this is a, a great great advantage uh, for uh, for Manchester United that Ralph Rang when Ralph Rang speak with a family with a player with an agent uh, he's he's brilliant and uh, I think uh, uh, Manchester United have very good chances to uh, to get uh, Erling Haaland. Well, I certainly hope so. I think most United fans would be absolutely over the moon if we were to sign Erling Haaland. Um, what do you think Ralph Radnick brings to Manchester United? What does he? What do you think he's doing at Manchester United that's perhaps different from from previous managers? Oh, he's, he's so uh, he's so he's a crazy man. He's he's working twenty four hours. He loves football. He loves challenges. I asked him, Ralph, you have many millions on you. You're, you're a rich man. And you spent no money. He drank no alcohol. He, he, he had no big car and, and no Rolex. Uh, and he said to me, Guido, I love challenges. This is my life. I don't need money. Okay, he get money uh, from Manchester United also. But he's, he's, so, uh, he's so a great worker. And he's, uh, I, when you speak with Ralph Rannick, uh, I, I spoke with him many times. And after the, the, the interviews, I want, to, I want to play for him. With 50, 57 years, I want to, to play, and I'm 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 so he's, he's so an empathic man also, and the motivation is is all around. He's, he's for me is perfect, and uh, yes, they should, uh, could be happy uh, in, in in Manchester that Ralph Rangnick is there. He's he's for me is a genius. A genius, that's what I like to hear. Um, he's obviously very well respected. We've heard the likes of of Thomas Tuchel and Jurgen Klopp. Praising Ralph Ragnick, you know Jurgen Klopp. You've you've played alongside him as a footballer. How do you think Ralph Ragnick compares to Jurgen Klopp? They are both great managers. Uh, I think uh, perhaps from the tactics, uh, also Tuchel from the tactics. Perhaps they are a little bit, perhaps a little bit higher than Jurgen Klopp. But the the, the package, the whole package, for me, there is Jurgen Klopp the number one in the world. He's he's uh, also a, so a lovely. Lovely uh, guy, and uh, we have uh, also now contact. And when you when you can say something very positive about a, a, a very famous man, then it's about Jürgen. He never changed his mind. He's uh, still this this lovely, warm man with a with a great heart inside. And uh, yeah, I love him. I love Jürgen. <laughs> I don't think Manchester United fans love him quite as much as you do, but <laughs> that's fair enough. Um, you mentioned there about um, how, and I, we were talking about how it looks like Manchester United aren't going to sign anyone in the January transfer window. Do you think that would be a little bit of a frustration for, for Ralph Ragnick that he can't bring some new players in? Is that something that he's going to be a bit annoyed by, perhaps? Yes. Uh, for me, it's unbelievable that if, if, it's, if it's the truth that uh, Manchester United uh, will buy no, no new player in, in, in the winter transfer. I, I don't believe it. I, it's, for me, it's, it's, yes, all, I think it could be frustration for Ralph, but he's concentrated on, on, his, on his mission to reach the, the Champions League and, and um, also the, the squad from Manchester United. It's, it's very big, very, very good. And if, if they, if they uh, will find together 
uh, I think they are able to to reach the the fourth place and uh, yes, twenty five players. So I just wanted to ask you about how you think Ralph Ragnick will handle some of the the players at Manchester United. We've got some big egos at Manchester United, some big players, Cristiano Ronaldo. You've got Paul Pogba. How do you think he's going to handle these players? Ah uh, yes. It's very, very uh, difficult uh, uh, if if you work together with a with a superstar like uh, Ronaldo. He's thirty six. He's he's still a, a good player, but uh, I think uh, his, his best times are over. And uh, oh, it's it's not easy. But you cannot win a war against Ronaldo. And uh, yes, you, you must handle handle with care with such players. And it's uh, for Ralph. He's intelligent. He, have, he has to manage it, and I think uh, he's able to manage uh, uh, it and to work with, with so many uh, world-class stars. It's not so easy to work with Ralf Rangli. He forces so much in every training session, in every match. You have to walk, you have to run, you have to think about the tactics. Uh, it's not easy to to copy this, and uh, but uh, you have success with uh, with this with Ralph Rangnick's system and his forces. I just wanted to ask you one, one final question, Guido. Some people have been a bit sort of surprised that Ralph Rangnick's never had no disrespect to the likes of Leipzig and some of the other clubs, but one of the big jobs in Europe. Why do you think it's taken until now for, for a club the size of Manchester United to give Ralph Rangnick a chance? Uh, I spoke with Ralph a few years ago and uh, he said to me his dream is the Premier League and his, his favourite team is Manchester United, and I said to him, Ralph, you're, you're the right man for this club. But I don't know why the English top clubs uh, uh, didn't ask him. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, since Jürgen Klopp is working there, uh, Jürgen Klopp said, I think one year ago, he said, for him, Ralph is one of the best in Europe, and perhaps uh, in the mind of the, the Manchester United bosses, it changed something uh, that, that Jürgen uh, said these things about about Ralph Rangnick. For me, he's, he's a perfect perfect man. I don't want to work with Ralph Rangnick because you have to wake up in the morning at six, and you work until in the night. Uh, at uh, twenty four hours, you have to work with him. And uh, but yes, he's 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 the best man. And uh, you have uh, if you want to work with him. You, you need very, very good power and uh, you'd have never go out for a drink and only one wife. And so it's crazy <laughs> with him. <laughs> only one I wife. Said, he, asked me, he said to me, Guido, when I was I was a player in the second division and he said to me, Guido, uh, I, I, when I, well, you, you coach, Ralph Rangi coaches Guido Schaefer. I, I would make a, a, a very good player, first class player. That, no, no, Ralph, thank you. Thank you, because there's no life. It's no fun. It's no lifestyle. Thank you, Ralph. But thanks for no thanks. <laughs> it's a hard taskmaster. But it's what we like to hear, though. This is good. This is a good thing for a manager of Manchester United. We need we need them working hard. Guido, it's been fun. it's been great chatting to you. Thanks for coming on the on the podcast, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Sorry for my English. I, I work on it. I'm <laughs> your, your English is fine. It's a lot better than mine, to be fair. <laughs> we'll speak to you again soon. Thanks, Guido. Good luck. All the best. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that was leading football journalist Guido Schaefer, someone who obviously knows Ralph Ragnick very well. Much appreciated to him coming on the channel and telling us a little bit about the psyche and the, the background and, and the, the work ethic of Ralph Ragnick and what we can expect from him. They use terms like genius, which I'm, I'm into as well. And he's obviously a highly respected coach. We knew that already, didn't we? But it'd be interesting to see whether Ralph Ragnick can have the success that Guido expects him to have at Manchester United. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button as well. We've got loads of good content coming up on the channel as well. So make sure you're checking all that good stuff out. This has been the Tier 1 Transfer Podcast on my own today. No Ronaldo Brown, he couldn't do it today. So I've done it on my own. But a big thanks again to Guido and thanks to you guys for for watching.